there is a shift going on in Texas. More and more people are moving from the country to the big cities and sprawling suburbs. And many of those folks don't have a place to get away, a place to go fishing. But there is a program underway to change that. Make it easy, convenient, and close to home. It's the Neighborhood Fishing Program. I'm almost getting a bite. And now city lakes throughout the state are stocked year round. You want to have those fish there for them to catch because that's what's going to get them hooked. Our goal with the Neighborhood Fishing Program is to bring the focus back to the outdoors. The plan is to get more city folks grabbing the pole again and heading for the pond. I think they'll be coming momentarily because they said between 9 and 9.30. Effie Dukes and her husband David are waiting. Yeah, look, they're coming with the fish. Some of them are going in maybe at 14 inches, and they're pretty healthy. The hatchery does a great job of getting ready. Now we'll catch something. Another one here. We'll catch the big one. What we try to do is to actually uh, bring fishing close to home. And most people in Texas are moving into bigger and bigger towns. Right. Having these opportunities in your backyard, basically, is what it's all about. Yeah, got a big one. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> While Effie's husband has the touch, her goal is to stay slime free. I use gloves to put the worms on. I don't want to touch them, they're squirrely. <laughs> I have wet wipes, but he said real fisher people don't use wet wipes or plastic gloves. But I told him I'm not a real fisher woman. I'm just, you know, out here to enjoy it, the outside. Look, Pastor Bird got one already. Yay. Yeah. You know, the program is designed to actually kind of recruit new anglers and get people fishing. And it's pretty much, we want to provide a perfect outdoor experience with fishing being the main point. <laughs> and as for Effie, she finally catches that fish and stays clean at the same time. Oh, got it! Look! Hey, it's a big catfish, and I caught it with a net with the help of my husband with the rotten reel that I don't know how to use. <laughs> In South Houston, at Tom Bass Pond, the bite is about to get really good. You teach a child to fish, you feed them for a lifetime, all right? While this truck will bring trout in the winter, it's summer, and there's catfish aplenty. OK, let's learn how to put our own bait on. Who wants to put their own bait on? There you go, go in the end. There he is. Push it on. Try to push it all the way. Squeeze him, he ain't hurting. <laughs> what is that that's coming out? Worm stuff. Worm stuff. Each child that participates in these types of activities will develop or have the opportunity to develop a lifestyle. That's something that they can go back home with and say, Mama, Daddy, Amy, Grandmother, take me fishing. Swing him to me. Right there. When you're trying to introduce kids to fishing. Is he still alive? Yes, he is. They really need to have a good probability they're going to catch a fish. One little touch. I love you. See? So there's a fishery here pretty much year round that people can count on. First fish of the day. For the opportunity to be nearby is the new key. These children may never see the rainforest, but they can appreciate what is near to them. And that is most important. Oh, look at it come out here just in a few minutes. Let go. Come on. I got it. Come on. How'd you do that? That's not fair. When you're out here, it's, it's very relaxing. And then when you can have your kids out here with you, that's so cool.
So where do all these fish come from? Well, hatcheries throughout the state raise and stock thousands of catfish and trout every year. Here at Possum Kingdom, the majority of the work goes to raising these hungry catfish. One pond holds up to 6,000. We raise them up all the way up to 12 inches, and it usually takes several months to a year to get them up to size. With the help of city, county, and corporate sponsors, the hatcheries can raise the thousands of fish needed for the program. These are heading for city lakes in Waco and San Angelo. The small bodies of water that we stock in the cities, they typically don't have real stable quality fisheries in them. It's pretty much a necessity, this program, if we want to reach out to the urban angler. In the heart of San Angelo, rainbow trout have just been stocked in Oak Street Lake. This spot in particular is real close to downtown. It's close to a lot of residential areas. So as far as you can. This was basically a perfect spot for neighborhood fishing program. Local Charles Cruz. Dad, it looks like it's moving. And his daughter Cameron are here to try their luck. Look, something looks like it's something messing with mine. Sometimes he tries to get me to touch him, I just don't want to. <laughs> I think that's real good for her to be able to experience outdoors like I did when I was younger. Hold on, I think I caught a stick. <laughs> I think this generation, for some reason, is getting away from that. <laughs> I can't get the stick off either. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to do my part. The power bay and the corn looks gross together. <laughs> With the neighborhood fishing program, we're trying to get kids excited about the outdoors again. Get it. Look, someone's getting it. That they will grow up and, and become people that want to protect natural resources. Is it a big one? Medium. Perfect. Good luck. <laughs> That'll be our time together. Even if you don't catch anything, it's just nice to have that little bonding moment that you have with your kids. And I think that right there is worth more than catching any amount of fish. Either for kids. We got another one here. Or for kids at heart. And I've been fishing about 25 years. But this is a lot of fun, and we'll be back again. No matter the age, there's sure to be a stocked city pond nearby, where good times are just a cast away. Oh, that's a huge one.